What's up guys, Ender Unknown here. I'm back for the 11th and final video of the how to make a text-based adventure game in C-Sharp tutorial series. Uh, yeah, I kind of messed up. I realized that with the help of some comments that uh, I never showed you all how to export a game or to give it an icon or anything. So, yeah. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Anyways, I guess before I start, I'm going to have announcements at the end, and just a forward is I'm hoping that everyone's doing great throughout this pandemic. Uh, I'm still doing fine, and uh, yeah. So anyways, I'm going to start by showing how to export this. So what you're going to want to do, or actually first I'm going to show how to put an icon on it. So what you're going to want to do is go to your project area over here, right click on it and then go down to properties or you could just do alt enter it's going to open up a uh like application tab or whatever so right here in the middle it says icon and manifest and what you're going to want to do is click on these three dots and it's going to open up a file explorer and then you're going to go double click on your dot ico file now so Icon files are interesting. They're like PNG files, just they're hard to get. You're going to have to find a way to um, convert a PNG or a JPEG to a ICO, that ICO, whatever you want, however you say that. Uh, there are many other tutorials on that, so I'm not going to cover that today. But yeah, you just do that. You'd have it in your computer, and then you'd select it uh, with the File Explorer and then it would change the icon from the default. Your computer also has, or at least Windows computers, have built-in icons. I honest, I, I don't know where they are on hand, but I'm sure if you did some digging, you could figure out where they are. So yeah, that is how you uh, would get an icon. And then, of course, you'd have to save that. So I'm just going to close that window. For actually building it, you're going to want to go up to the Build tab, and then just uh, do Build Solution. And then, uh, like down in the console here, it says Up to Date. So, this is surprisingly easy to do. I'm going to go into the folder, and I'll show you the path to get there, and how to, like how you could export or get this game to your friend or friends or publish it. I don't I'm not sure this isn't going to show how you could publish it onto the internet as like a hey, pay $5 you get this game or Steam tutorial that's beyond the scope of a text-based adventure game. I've heard that putting stuff on Steam can be a little difficult and uh also it's kind of expensive for I think it's $100 to activate your account, which I don't have an activated account, so I really don't have $100 to put into that at the time. Anyways, yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so inside your project folder, this is like where your project is and all your code is, uh, we're going to want to go into bin and then debug, and then this is where it builds to. So this is the exe. And if you double click on this, it will run the game. And here are uh, the saves and sounds folders that we also need. And then this stuff is just configuration that it Windows generates and debug stuff. I don't think it's necessary that you copy this, at least with the console application. But, you know, it doesn't hurt. It's the game files. are Everything's packed into the exe. And then you need the sounds, because sounds are like a resource file. And then you need a saves folder. I, I can't remember. It's been such a long time. Maybe we automatically make saves. I don't know. So I'm just going to copy everything in here. I'm going to go back to Ender's Dungeon, and I'm going to create a new folder. And this is what you're going to be like sending to your friends. So finished game. And so in finished game, I'm going to paste the files and of course your icon would look different and because if you changed it right now mine's just the default so it looks boring <laughs> yep 
Yeah, and then the last thing we're going to want to do is, and I guess your friends could do this, but we're going to want to make a new shortcut. And then we are going to make a shortcut for... Uh, you're going to go find your project location. I've blurred it out because I uh, don't like showing my name and computer information on on the internet mm. so just give me a second to find it so I've, I've way too many of these folders okay here we go yep so then once you get into uh i've probably unblurred it by now in post-processing anyways uh so Ender's Dungeon, finished game, and then you click on your EXE and then press OK. And then if you want to name it, so I'm just going to do Ender's Dungeon. And then there you go, you got a shortcut. So ideally, what you do is you'd have the... Uh, you could either send them both the shortcut and the, and the thing, but... Most likely, you just send them this package. And honestly, I don't know if a shortcut's going to work if you transfer to a different computer. I've never tried this. So they might have to make the shortcut. But I guess I just recommend that you don't have this on your desktop or wherever you store your games. You'd make a shortcut for it so that it wasn't like, hey, we're just going to have all the game files. If this thing gets deleted or moved, well, then the game's broken. Whereas the shortcut is just uh, gone. So, yeah, anyways, last step is i guess if you want to it's not necessarily necessary uh you compress this into a uh a zip file so yeah i'm just going to do uh add to so i have seven zip you guys could use winrar or whatever else you have to make a zip file and i guess a zip file isn't necessary you could email this folder but I just like zip files because they're nice and convenient. So I'm just going to do add to finished game zip and wait for this to all work. And then inside the finished game zip, we got the finished game folder and all the information that they could need. So then you could just email this folder or this zip file and that would be, um, that would be it. So yeah. Uh, I guess that is all I have for, mm, like, technical information. For announcements, I have decided that I'm going to be starting up my next series in, uh, what kind of like when school's done. So, uh, I'm, I'm losing track of the months. Probably early June. Yeah, so in about a month, I'll be starting up, uh... A new series and yeah I don't know what that's gonna be on quite yet so I r I'm really just kind of appreciating all the comments I'm getting I'm probably just going to either make like a poll of some sorts I don't know how I'd go about doing that or more likely I'm just going to read all the comments and uh, uh, put tallies on a paper pencil paper list and see what people want the most uh, and then go from there I guess some interesting things I guess I could show were how to make like a uh, a game from scratch. Not not scratch the program, but just complete. Uh, like building a game engine and then adding the features. A lot of people wanted to see Unity, which I guess I could I could do a Unity tutorial. Um, I don't know. I just kind of need some more ideas on what people want to see. So if, if you are if you have an opinion, just leave a comment in this video or even better on the future video or the video titled The Future. And I will figure that out and I don't know, maybe make an announcement or do something. I, I I'll figure it out. Or I'm I'll just start making the video series. I don't know. So yeah, in, at the current plan, uh it'll be June early June when the next season come I say season uh series comes out excuse me so yeah anyways thank you guys for watching
Um, yeah, that's all I got for you today. And yeah, Ender out.